Why let all the photos that you've taken over the years with your digital camera or even your old camera that you want to scan in and use sit on your computer not knowing exactly how to get them into a final product? Well, there's a great slideshow program that I found online called Roxio Photo Show. And Roxio has been around for a long time. You probably recognize Roxio as ECD Creator. But they have a Web 2.0 application. That means you don't have to install anything on your computer. You just go directly to the web to use it. And this is what it looks like. Roxio Make a Photo Show. Go to Photoshow.com. Once you get to Photoshow.com, simply click on the big orange button. You should have already pre-chosen your photos that you'd like to use. There is a 20 megabyte upload limit. That really roughs out into being about 40, 30 to 40 good quality digital photos unless you have a really high resolution camera that's taken pictures at more than a megabyte per photo and in that case you might want to resize them a little bit. You can even add small video clips to these photo shows as well. But click the choose photos button, highlight the photos you would like to add to your slideshow, go ahead and click open, and then once you've got them all in there, the ones you want, they don't have to be in any particular order, go ahead and click import. When the import finishes, you'll be asked to give a title to your slideshow if you desire. And of course we desire to do that. Then click continue. And in just a few seconds, you do have to have high speed internet for this by the way, you get a customized slideshow with music and transitions right in your browser. I'm going to push pause there. At this point you can choose different types of what they call themes or styles. I'm going to choose the grid style. I think that's kind of a nice style. You can see it added the style and changed the music. And then I can change the music even further down here or even choose no music if I like. When I go to the arrange, I can choose the order by clicking and dragging where I want the photos to be in the slideshow just by clicking and dragging. At this point, if I want to add a few more photos, I can do that as well by clicking add photos. If I want to add a caption, I just click in the caption tab, type in my caption, and it instantly appears on that photo. I can even choose different types of caption styles and it previews it there for you. Under music, again it tells you the the music you have available. They only give you a certain amount of music. If you click the more music button they'll ask you to sign up for their premium service where you get access to over 900 different clips of music. I have noticed that when you create new slideshows the music does change. It's not the same four or five every single time. If I click the title tab I can change the title of my slideshow created by. I can even put more information in there if I want. I can change the type. On the stickers tab here you can click and choose from a variety of different little add-ons or again stickers that they call them to add to your photos. You just simply click and drag them and once they're in the photo you can move them around and put them anywhere you want in the photo and you can add as many as you want to a photo. So once you're through with all of that and you've personalized a little bit, as you can see it takes just a few minutes and very little skill. I have no artistic skill whatsoever and so to be able to do something like this this easily gets me pretty darn excited to be able to do something like this. Once you're through you just simply click the button down here that says share and it will render and save your photo show. If you don't already have a photo show account, it'll ask you to sign up for an account. It is free. The premium costs, I believe, oh, 30 or 40 bucks, and you get access to a lot more music and backgrounds and things like that. But it is a free service to use if you want to use just the services that are provided to you. And you can email that show that you just created. You can post it to your blog or your own web page. You can even order it on a DVD. I think they do charge you 30 bucks for a real professional DVD. I've never tried any of their pay services. But if you want to watch the photo show, you can see here it is on my right hand side. I'll just click it and it'll load pretty quickly.
So I think you'll agree that this is a pretty easy thing to do. And you sure you could use something like Pro Show Gold or try to create something in Windows Movie Maker and spend hours and hours and hours trying to figure out how to do the transitions, how to do special effects, and how to do all the kinds of things a true artiste could do. I am not one of those artistes. And for me, getting from point A to point B is what I like to use a computer for. I don't have the patience or the skill to be able to create something this darn good this quickly. So hopefully you'll give it a shot. And again, it's at photoshow.com. And I'm Rick Castellini at helpmerick.com.